Well, I I have to get my voice down. I want to talk about uh, the, everyone talks about ego death, and I don't even fully understand it. But why do people get so interested in ego death when in reality you should be doing personality death? You know, it's not the ego that needs to go away. It's the personality that needs to go away. Do you understand what I mean now? Because isn't, like, ego a part of the personality? You know? If the personality is bigger than the ego, then get rid of that, you know? Another thing I don't like about ego death is, um, when I look it up, um, you know, to do it, you need to do some, you know, stuff that I don't advocate for. I'm very straight edge, meaning that I don't do, you know, substance stuff. You know, I can't get into it because it's YouTube. But when I talk about ego death and personality death, I'm talking completely from a sober perspective, you know. And I mean... When I talk about personality death, I made that up, I guess, on something. Because, basically, in a nutshell, I want to get rid of my labels. That won't happen, you know. I always flip-flop, you know. And I can't deny logic. Like, if you are, by fact, a truck driver, you are, by fact, a truck driver, you know, it's hard to deny that. Maybe what I mean is that I'm more than just these labels. Maybe that's what I'm saying. Or that I am not just one label. Or maybe I'm not a stereotypical label. Or I don't fit the full criteria of a label. I think that's maybe what I mean. Because I'm having... I, have, I suffer from identity issues. I talked about this in my BPD is the real ego death video. I talked about that. Which I don't even know if I have borderline. I definitely have identity issues, but I don't connect it to a mental disorder. I don't even believe it is borderline. Like, my identity crisis, I don't even believe that it is borderline. I don't. I know some trolls are going to twist it and say, oh, now he thinks he has... No, 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 no. Now he thinks he has borderline. No, 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 no. For any weird haters or stalkers or trolls that want to twist the story, and no. Because apparently a lot of the people with borderline, the reason why they have iso um, the reason why they have identity issues is because they never formed a personality or an identity. So because they never did, that's the reason. Like you know what I mean? Like like I like I I looked on the internet. Why do people with borderline? have identity issues, I looked that up, and it says the reason for them is because they had a traumatic childhood, so they were never able to form a personality, or at least a full version of a personality, or at least a healthy one, and that's the reason. For me, it's not that, for me, it's I used to have labels, but I, I got rid of them. I gotta keep my voice down. I gotta keep my voice down. Um, sorry if you can't hear me, I can't, but I can't keep my voice down. Um, I just, you know, there's a label, like, with the whole freaking, you know, well, like, with autism, I don't even believe that even fits me at all, you know, and being a furry, you know, that doesn't fit me, because I don't got a fur suit, and apparently, the stereotype of being a furry is being really good with technology, and the same thing with being a femboy, and all these f labels, and I'm just kind of just done. I was even contemplating identifying as neurotypical or normal, but not even that would be accurate because even though I kind of do believe that I'm neurotypical or normal, there's a part of me that doesn't. I don't know what I am. Maybe I'm just everything. Maybe I'm just every single thing, but I'm just so fucking sick of labels. You know what I mean? I'm just try. I'm sick of trying to fit in a label. I'm sick of the stereotypes of certain labels. Like, apparently my interests are connected to people that are more likely to have IT-type jobs. 
that's not my field of interest, and it's also not my field of skills. Um, I'm more of a right brain person of creativity and music and all that shit. I know this is like an, a Tool album. The, no, but this has nothing to do with Tool. I've been listening to different kinds of music lately. I just chose this image because it looks fucking cool. <laughs> this has nothing to do with Tool or, you know, any of that. Yeah. And I'm straight edge, you know, which means I don't smoke or drink or do any of that stuff. I don't think I ever will. Well, I tried smoking and drinking, but as far as the yellow stuff that I can't talk about on YouTube because I'm going to get, you know, I never tried that kind of stuff. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> um, but... You could do personality death without any of that extra substance shit in your system. Same thing with ego death. Why are you? Why are these fucking people for centuries doing it the the cheating way of oh I'm just gonna drink something or smoke something and it's gonna make no 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 people. You can do this right now with meditation. And just remind her that you are not the self because the self doesn't even exist. You're not born with an ego. You're not born with a personality. So why are you even clinging on to this? That's the reason why the reasons why I'm just so fucking sick of the ego and the personality. I, I, I don't fit full criteria for autism and being, you know, a furry and all this stuff, right? And the stereotypes that are attached to it. But another thing too is um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, you're not born with the personality. This has all just been created over time. So you could revert back to your natural self, and I kind of want to. Yeah. Through meditation. And remembering myself every day that this is not who I truly am. I am just a... I'm not a human having a spiritual experience. I'm a spirit having a human experience. That's how I see it now. I know it sounds very schizotypal, schizo manic, schizo effective. I don't even know what my mental illness is. See, that's the thing. I'm done with labels. I have a psychologist appointment coming up. And hopefully he'll figure out my IQ and he'll figure out my, my unknown rare mental illness. Because I am convinced I have an unknown rare mental illness. Hopefully he'll fucking figure it out for me. And if he can't, then this just... That will just reinforce the idea that, yeah, just fuck labels. It's just a way to control you. I mean, I know labels are great for some people because... Some people love labels because... Some people love labels because it gives them a name as to what they are what they're going through or what whatever in it and it finds them a community okay but i'm done with that like i'm just so fucking done with that and there's got to be someone out there that thinks that way i've met people against labels but not all labels on themselves like i met someone that's just like i don't want to label my gender anymore i don't want to label my sexuality anymore but there's literally no one on the internet that's going as far as to get rid of all labels. The whole entire ego. The whole entire personality. No one's going that far with it. I am. And again, without substances, without fucking doing the, you know, the, the, the you know, I can't say it, you know, without doing the extra bullshit, right? Sober mind, you know, doing it the sober way. I know I said this has nothing to do with Tool, but it's kind of like the song Sober. Why can't we be, you know, why can't I be sober? Well, I am sober. You know, or like Evanescence Sober, you know? You know? But no, this has nothing to do with music. Lately, I've been listening to a whole shitload of stuff. You know, the Mall's Volta, um, electronic dance music. Um, like what PDZ listens to electronic dance music lately. Um, ambient atmospheric drum and bass music, you know, like Sua Slut, <laughs> you know, Sua Slut, you know, I hate saying that name, but you know, so, Synth, Synth, Synthony, Synthony or whatever her name is now. I've been listening to that. 
what is it like C Y N T H O N I? I think that's how you pronounce it. How how you spell it? I don't know. I've been listening to that lately. I don't know. I'm just kind of just done with labels and identities. I know I probably will go back to the labels and be like, I'm a furry. I have to fucking admit it. Maybe I do fit into these labels. Maybe I truly do. But again, not the full criteria of being a furry and being autistic and not these stereotypes of being a programmer that definitely does not fit me. Like, even if I do fit full criteria for autism, I'm definitely not a programmer, IT, I'm not an engineer. I don't have these high-paying jobs that people with my interests have, like being into anime and all this shit and video games and gaming. You know, I don't have your fucking jobs. I don't even have a job. If I had a job, it would be a low-paying janitor job or a McDonald's job because, number one, my skills are shit. Number two, my education level is shit. I dropped out. Number three, because of my elemental issues with anger issues, I wouldn't be able to hold down a job. I have so many reasons why I would not have a high-paying job. So many reasons why I would not. Because again, like I said, I don't have the skills, I don't have the education, I don't have the tolerance, I have anger issues, I have weird thinking. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what my mental illness is. There might not even be a label for that. You know. But 